Good afternoon, everyone. It's Rachel here, and we are doing this. Okay, guys, what's in my box? I know that um, it's been missed. I'll probably be a little bit sporadic with it, um, but we will slowly bring it back. So I just want to do this. is my hoardy book. It's starting to become fat. And so this is where I put lots of... Um, I don't... Like, I have lots of stuff that I scanned. And so, as I've said before, when I... Um, you know, I'm not going to put that in a pack because if you buy something from me, then I feel like you should be able to scan it yourself. So um, this is where I'm putting all of the different things. Well, I haven't put everything in, which is really bad of me because now I've forgotten things. I need to reinforce that. Um, see, there's a there's a pocket. Um, we did the the pockets. Uh, well, actually, that's just glued right down onto the page, so it's not actually a pocket, but it's a it is a book page pocket with a flip. Um, so we did that the other day. So I have um, on Friday. So I have put this, um, put them all in my pot in my journal now. So I wanted to show you. This is not my journal. This is my ideas book. Um, and these are all things that have been done in the past. Mostly I'm just pinning things down because I don't want to. These are all things, as I said, that I've scanned, and a lot of them I don't want to cover. I don't even remember doing all these things. Well, I do remember some of them, but yeah, it's um, it's good to go in here. So here they are, and I actually did some sketches, so I'll, I'll rip that out um, of the book and put them in. But these are all of the pockets that we did on Friday for the pockets with pockets. So side tuck and a pocket there, pocket, pocket. So now you can actually see them glued down on. I put these ones in sideways because I don't, I don't, you know, like I need to keep space. So there's a pocket there, pocket there, and pocket there. That's a tri triple, not a double whammy, but a triple. This is a double whammy. Pocket there and pocket there. Um, this one is pocket here, here, here. And this one was, this was a, a, like a swing out pocket. I just added little tabs onto them so that I could remember. And that, you'd, I probably put some writing paper there and there's a pocket there and a pocket there. Um, this one, I didn't want to cover this page, so I just clipped that on there, but that would be, could be a side tuck and then pocket there. This one is pocket here and pocket there. And I did glue that one down because it was plain there. And then these again I clipped because these were just other examples that there, there, and up there. And then this one was here and here, and then it could be a side tuck. And then under here I've got the t double side tuck one. And so they are all in there, but I didn't want to cover up all the page. So just to show you that I, I did put them in my book. And now my next ones will go in here. Um, I'll probably glue one on here, but and then paper clip other ones. So... Um, yeah, these are just all favourite pages um, that I just put into a book because you need to have somewhere to put them and I haven't even embellished it and I really should do that. I have a stitch piece somewhere that's flying around. Goodness knows where it's ended up that I could put on there. Um, anyway, um, so it's kind of like, a, it's, I call it my hoardy book because it's got all the special papers in it, but it's, it's also an ideas. Remember your ideas book. Now, these are all things that were in my drawer that are incomplete, like this one. I feel like it needs something else. These from the other day, these were not quite finished, so they need to be finished. I have these, but then I don't put, because they're Christmas, I don't actually put them in the drawer, but they are things that need to be completed. Um, that's something, like it's just ready to receive something. That's gonna be, no, that's a piece of, just a piece of paper. That was left over from the other day. This was, and then these are all of those pockets um that the extras i did sit down and make some more um as afterwards and i've got that and that's not glued down very well is it and i'll have to glue that down again that one's actually got christmas paper on so these are all i think i've got one of those in there yeah all the different pockets that need to be completed and some more plain paper substrates I was just going to make that into a pocket. That's not complete. And these are not complete. So we're going to do have a little work on these. And obviously I'm going to do Christmas today. I also have these. I could do, it doesn't matter if they're blue. I could do Christmas on these. So we might do a couple of those. I really like those ones. And I had these bits of Veronica's paper from Triple V Vintage. Look at her beautiful papers. 
absolutely love them. And these, this is her Art Nouveau pack. And she very kindly gifted them to me when she came to visit. So I've got those out just in case I need them. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. We're just going to start finishing things off and, and see what happens and go with the flow. I'm not used to doing what's in my box anymore. Okay, so... Oh, I know. I might put this paper on here. Now, I have lost, and I don't know how, and I've just found it, <laughs> my cutter. I thought I'd lost it, but I haven't. So let's uh, do this. Put this here and trim. And just trim a little bit off the end bits, and that will fit on there. And I think on the I've got another one here. I think I'll put green. So let's measure the green. Oh, perfect. So we just need to trim off a bit here. Okay. And okay, so let's glue those down and then we can see how am I going to finish them off. I've been trying to get some order here because I have stuff everywhere and I really, I couldn't even find those pockets. I could not find them anywhere because they were under everything. Also because I um, I did quietly and I didn't do a flip through, flu, um, finish some botanical journals and they've got already gone off to their new homes because I am trying to get some things complete and I want to get these Christmas journals done as well so yep lots of things to be done let's grab this and glue one here so what's in my box is always good for that isn't it and that's what I've been missing too is just it was a lot you know I'd get quite a number of pockets made or um, tags and things and so yes it's going to also come back for that reason so we can get back to the completing things okay so I'm, I think I'm going to I'm going to grab my garbage basket here and just snip off my corners because I like that and then we'll see how to finish them Okay, right, now this one, maybe I would like a little bit of my ocean, I just had it before, oh my goodness, I've just got papers up there, that down there, that's my glue paper, I'm going to fall off my chair if I'm not careful. found it. It was underneath and under, underneath underneath a, I think I would like this a piece of Veronica's paper. Put that down there. I still feel like it needs something. And this one I think I'm going to have a piece of this somewhere. I still haven't located the Ohuhu pins, markers. Goodness knows where I've put those. My room's not very big, so honestly, I think I might put that down there. I feel like this one can have a bit more embellishment. This one doesn't need too much. to something little like that and you can actually tear this too because remember it was um, paper to start off with uh, tracing paper and then you can tear these double double-sided tapes I think I'm just going to put a little piece there 
Here we go. I think that's cute. That's going to be done. Now, I also pulled, brought over... Where did I put them? I think I put them all over here. I don't think I want any of those. Oh, I thought I could have one for a tab. Doesn't really matter what the letter is. Let's just tear this. Oh, I did get the lighter paper. It's a lighter color. I'm not quite sure how thick it is because this one's super thick. I actually really like that there. I think I'm going to add that there. Um, so, yeah, it's it's lighter color. But I don't know how thick it is because I haven't had a chance to open the packet. So we'll have to investigate that. I just want to put a little bit of glue here as well. But what I can do on the reverse side. So that's my little tab. I love that. Adds another texture to it. And on this side, or I could add a piece of paper, or I could add something like this. We haven't used this one yet. I kind of get a little bit hoardy with them. And just put that on the reverse side. And that's not going anywhere. Okay, cool really like that postcard very nice okay this one this one needs some help well that little piece could just go down there I quite like that or up there no not with now I wouldn't do that because I've got that one like that I would turn around but I wanted to see oops don't lose it I wanted to see my book in my book yeah uh, have some little fussy cut things Something small. Let me just grab the postcard. No. I was thinking more possibly like something like one of these. Or just that. Could we put, oh, I quite like that. Let's do that. Okay. So scissors. So I'm going to add this, if I can tear it off, it might be easier said than done. might have it sort of go over the edge there I love that because it see how it's transparent it's wonderful and then put this on <clears throat> yeah I like that and I don't think I'm going to add any more to that do I want Thing like that or where's the other A here this one oh, I quite like that no I think I'll leave that one as is so we've got two done I'm going to just pop them under my mat because otherwise I'll just keep losing them and drive you all bonkers trying to find them so this one is going to be a tab see I've snipped the corners I'm not going to snip that up there but it needs to be completed it needs something on it so again 
have this old when I in the days when I used to do the sewing machine stuff. Oh, just a minute. Would we like a little piece of that? No, we wouldn't. I like it just as it is. Okay, good. I'm not going to use that. So I do become a little bit stingy with. I really like that pattern. I can't remember how I did it, but I really like it. So I'll probably keep it. I, oh yeah, because remember I said it's probably it's a good idea to do a little um, sort of catalog of the things, but I haven't done that, so I need to do that. And put those over there. And I'm going to grab this book again and just see if there's anything in here that I would like to use to embellish this. Now these are printed, this is printed on really thick paper. So you know what, I'm going to slip those into really thick paper. Uh, oh no, I've glued them onto paper. See, they could become, here's another pocket with a pocket. You could glue that there. I'm not going to on this one. And that could be a tuck as well. But I'm going to put that in my pocket pouch because they're very strong and they can go become pockets. There's a little bit of side tracking for you. That one. You can tell that printing probably needs to happen. I'm quite low. I've got all big things, but I'm low on other things. So I kind of just... Um, I'm quite limited now that is not particularly Christmas but I like it I'm gonna put that on there or I could have that one no I like the black one there you go so I'm gonna put that on there I don't know why I feel like that that is just a good thing to put on there and that's a wraparound pocket with a tab built-in tab Tell you what I haven't pulled out yet is my Christmas washi tape. Let me see. Uh, where is it? I think I've put things in front of it. I have. Oh no, here it is. Look, I just have it in this big drawer. I don't have that much of it, um, but I think like a little bit of Christmas washi tape would be nice on this, and just give it a bit more of that vibe. Maybe that one. It's not overly sticky. This one. I think it's just an El Cheapo from um, in fact it's not sticky at all so I'm going to just swish it over the glue make sure it sticks and that's going to go there very nice and I think that's done could have a little, little, little label there or something or a little bit of washi tape um, what about a little piece of this one this was a I want to say a Stamperia that I bought from the shop around the corner. But then Stamperia stopped. I got some great washi tapes from them and then they stopped making them. When I first started. There you go. That can just go down on the garbage bin. Okay. Right. Next. Oh, we have this. So this is just a good substrate for something. So I have um, Veronica's beautiful paper. Do I want to use that? No, maybe I'll do something with this first. Put those over there. I'm just going to trim it down to a more... Oh, no, I could fold it over. Like that. I want to make it into more of the correct shape. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to punch the edge. Why not? Um, 
Okay, so we have Pretty Edge. Oops, I nearly put that into the washi tape, so I don't want to do that. And then I think we'll put... So that's going to be... Well, I would like that to be at the front. Let's make... That's the writing side. And let's make this the front. So we just need to find a nice paper to put there. I'm wondering if I would like a bit of book page or something. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Where's my, where's my thing? Over here. I just want to see what's in here. I might tear something down to fit there and have that overlap. Oh, not that one. I think I've got smaller ones towards the back. It's going to blend in a bit too much. It's a bit small. I would like it to be bigger. What about this one? might work and I need a bit of a, a background just a sec let's just double check so many fun things I might pull that out I think I'll do something with them they fell out Or that would be pretty too, but I think I'll stick with what I'm doing. I also oh, I just love that. Hmm. That. Keep that out. Oh, I love this one too. I haven't used that one for a long time. So let's have a look at that one. And pull that out. Oh, postcards. Oh gosh, I'm just want to do all the things. Can't stop myself. Hmm. Oh, and there's my window things to make the window pockets. Ha! <laughs> Need to do those as well. So many things. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to trim down these. I might, I've got my cutter here, so I might as well use that. remember not to throw it into my drawer there one and then the others will do with the scissors the worst okay okay Right, so let's just cut this one out just in case I want to embellish. And if I don't use it for this one, I might use it for something else. Because those pieces of um, coffee dyed paper have been sitting there for a really long time, wanting to be used up. And then this one, we we'll use these scissors. Just because I'll go a bit faster, I think. Just 
See, I wiggle my paper around, not the scissors so much. Okay, right, so one option would be to put this there. I probably would put, I'm thinking I might like a little bit of book page behind there. So I'll just grab one. Probably something like this could even be good. And what I would do is I'm just going to I just want to see the writing. I may have to adjust the measurements. I just want to, before I you know, fiddle around with measurements, I want to just see how I like it. Oh, it's probably the same size, goodness me. I need it to be bigger. I need a bigger piece. Although I do like that. I think I would like to be able to see it top and bottom. So that's one option. The other option is this one. I can trim this one down further. But again, I need to see it top and bottom. I could have this one. Oh, I think I like that. Let's do that one. Okay, we're going to go with that one. And I'll do the other Veronica paper. And um, I'll link her shop in the description box. She's very popular shop. Very, very good shop. Full of good stuff. I just had a little look in there and she has beautiful ticking. So I'm going to buy some of her ticking. I love ticking. that there and that's going to go I don't mind if it overlaps a little bit I oh no I can't um, so I just have that like that I think so let's glue that so we're just making a little journal card here Although it could be a pocket, but it's a shame because you can, it's lovely paper to write on on the other side. And I'm not purposely not covering up the other side because it's so pretty. That there. And then I need to glue this down. Here I need to be a little bit careful because when it's perforated like that, it just sort of, the glue sort of all chunks up. It's like a knife cutting through the glue. I don't know if you're getting the gist of what I say, I'm saying, but yeah, it is like a knife and you get big chunks. Then, I still feel like it needs something else, so I'm going to snip my corners, as you do. It needs a bit of colour. Let me see in the narrow department, narrow fauchy department, what I have. No. That will just disappear. I have this one. Oh, I do like that. That would be all of that. I can do it again. I've got these. Oh, this one. Let's see. So that one's, I did blue with gold and I quite like that. I do like the green. I don't really want to put, because um, like this is like a communion card, I don't want to put, you know, the the sort of the, I can't even, I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, I like the spots. I'm going to do the spots. Yeah, the, the, the sort of more commercial symbolism on there. Although I do mix them up often, but still, that's how I'm feeling with this one. And 
then of course we've got the full pattern of Veronica's paper on the reverse side. Yay, just needed a little bit of colour. See, there we go, that's done. Tuck that under there. And then I have another one here, so we'll do something else. We'll fold, now that's deeper that one, to get the better size. I might use, which I haven't used for a while, this much. Oh, I can snip that off. So here we are. This one needs to go there. Oh, I like that one. Oh, and this one's, that's perfect. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love that. So something different has, oh, look at the Santa. What? I wonder what I did there. Oh, I must have had a boo-boo printing. Well, no, I think we'll go with, yeah, I do like that though. Mm. I think we'll go with that one. Bye bye, Santa. Put that on there. Glue this down. Once you get into the Christmas um, making it, it's so much, I just love it, but it takes me a minute to get into it. And, um, and then all of a sudden it's finished. And you just want to make a bit more, but then it's finished. So do I want to put a little something down there? No, not wide enough. So they're not going to be wide enough. I could put a little bit of washi tape, actual washi tape down there. No. I don't think there's anything here. Or or I don't have enough left or it doesn't really go. No. Okay, put that over there and we'll grab the actual washi tape. Right, I love that. That's cute. I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah, why not? I'm going to run it over. It's another El Cheapo. So I'm going to run it over the glue. Hopefully I don't run my finger over the glue. Oh, we're going to my mother-in-law's for din din tonight. That's going to be good. I don't have to cook. Oh, I think, why did I cut so much? Well, what I'll do is a wrap around. You know, I do like the clashy. It's very clashy, very garish, but I like it because it needs to be fun. Didn't get any glue under the, the very end of it. And then I was wondering, do I want that on there? No, I could have that, or I like that there. That's going to sit there. Very sticky piece of paper here. I 
I do feel like the other side needs something. But I could just simply come back to it. Now I could cut Santa out of that. I have done that before. I think I might try that. You can always print him up again. He's very cute little applique Santa. I think down there. I'm going to put little Santa there. It's getting worse, isn't it? It's a bit wild. Totally unexpected. Here you go. Down you go, Santa. And then you could add something else, but I think I'm going to stop right there and come back to it. So that one can, not today, but stick that under there. Now, next. Um, I have this. Let's do something with this. So this is going to be my base. I might use something like that on there. So I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so I could have, you tidy up and then you can't find things. It's the story of my life, here it is. All my papers are here. I think I'd like some paper behind it. That's not gonna be enough. It's upside down, they're all going to tip out. Oh, let me grab that. I'm just going to grab those, they can go in the faux shoes. Oh, now I do have this. Why don't we put that there? Yes, and that can be a tab at the top. Yes, okay. But the first thing I want to do is grab maybe this and put that. Oh, they're both too long, so I'll have to trim it down. Put that on the reverse side. We'll be, leave it so you can see a little bit of the, the paper, the book page. Trim there and there. Let's do that. down first because I want that to go over and it will be upside down but it doesn't matter and also I might even punch it because now I'm in the punching mode Okay, put this on. And then we're going to glue this. So I just need to have a non-sticky piece of paper. Oh, first I want to punch it. And I really, one of my favorites is this swooshy one. So we'll do that one.
Okay, right. So let's get the glue on. Things everywhere. I'll do that bit last. Okay. Remember, Rachel, to make a tab. Remember to make a tab. I'm just reminding myself, guys, because you know how I tell you I'm going to do something and then I forget? Between the gluing and the actual actual doing, I forget. Okay, there. And then fold it over like so. Now, if that bothered you, you could put a little washi tape over that or something over it. And then I'm going to snip. You can hardly tell it's a tab because it's almost the same width as the substrate but I love that it makes it taller I'm going to snip my corners off even though they're kind of rough and ready and I absolutely love it and I might like I might like a little label of some sort or a piece of my no not script no I don't think I want any of that I've got that one no and that was the reverse side, but that doesn't matter. Now I could have probably this one. See how it's that's why it's nice to keep those these random pieces of paper that's just a nice shape. If you like the shape that just will instantly inspire you to make something with it. Oh, I didn't even audition it, but yes. Oh, I love that. I think I'll put it up there. No, down there. Between the... Between the... The letters. Love it. That's just a big journal card. Really pretty. Love the straw papers. So excited that my husband source those okay so i think that is my video for today we've done a few things mostly um journal cards love those with veronica's paper and oh that's a pocket there we go and these were two journal cards so five or six things i think we did five but i've got plenty more so i'll be back next week with more what's in my box i think because i want to get more done and um yep really happy with those six things we did um, quite a quite eclectic some of them and loving all of that that's my favorite all those colors and everything so I hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye <laughs>